Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to the Scan Tool Network. In this video, it's a short video on the Autofix D1 tool, which honestly, this is a tool that I really, really love. Uh, before we get into sort of anything that's appearing on the dashboard or anything, the reason why I love it is just look at the slim line of that and the fact that it's wireless as well. We've got a little dongle, you see the light on there, just in the OBD2 port, it's a wireless communication. But the good thing about this is this is a really, really stable wireless communication. Uh, I've tried wireless communications on other tools and they're, they're very unstable. Uh, this is absolutely fantastic. So that out of the way, um, yeah, we've got we're an Audi A6, a 2016 model, and we've got a few faults on the dashboard here, which you can see. We've got a flashing glow plug, we've got an ABS light, and we've got an airbag light, and we've got the um, well, that's a parking brake. That's a because the parking brake's on. Uh, but the, the, the there's three faults there, which we're going to diagnose and hopefully reset, get rid of all of these warning lights with this tool completely wirelessly. Um, now this tool is available by clicking the link in the description below this video. Um, there are fakes, there are clones on the market, so if you want to make sure you're getting the genuine and official product, please do use the link in the description below this video. Okay, uh, so to diagnose these faults, there's a few different uh, sort of icons on this screen here as you can see. Um, we're just interested in the diagnostic side of things for now and we're going to go through and select our manufacturer. If you see a green arrow next to the icon, that means an update is available for that specific manufacturer. And it looks like there's an update available for every single manufacturer. Um, so that's good, it means the updates are coming quite often. Um, but I think the software which is on here should be enough for us to deal with this 2016 model, okay? So we're going to go system selection and we're gonna manually select the system in which we wish to diagnose. I think we'll go ahead and diagnose the flash and glow plug light in this case. Uh, the flash and glow plug light generally means there's an electrical fault within the, um, the engine system. Doesn't necessarily mean it's a glow plug fault as a lot of people do seem to think. So we'll go to diagnosis, go control unit, and we'll click on, you see these little dots here? That represents a page, so it just shows you how many different like systems there are to diagnose so we're gonna go ahead and just hit the engine control module and let's see if it gives us a good communication which it should it's got us this far we've got a green tick there next to the VCI signal uh, lettering that just basically means that there's a connection between the VCI and the tool the VCI is the uh, the connector down there all right so we'll go to trouble codes And the fault, don't worry about any U faults that you see on today. We've been getting these and we need to look into those a little bit in a greater detail. But the fault we're getting relating to the flashing glow plug light is this one here, uh, P123700. Um, it's a simulated fault, so it's a fault that we've done ourselves. And we now need to, let's say, uh, erase the fault. The reason why we're getting this fault is because we've unclipped the uh, connector, connection for the cylinder one fuel injector. Just really to show you what a fault would look like in a real world situation. So um, we've, we've unclipped that, we've put it back together. So what we can do is if we click on erase codes, the engine, it says engine off, but you don't necessarily need that. Uh, if I click yes, keep an eye on the flashing glow plug light. Establishing communication. And there we go, the glow plug light is gone. We're still getting this fault, which does need to be looked into um, in greater detail, as I say, but don't worry about any U-code faults that you see in this particular video, okay? Uh, so we'll come out of there, and then we can go and find a different system. So let's say, let's go into the braking system, the brakes, and that will be where the ABS uh, system is located. And we need to find the fault with the ABS system. So we'll go trouble codes, Again, any U codes, just immediately discount them. It's the other codes we're looking at. So, forget about that U code, we've got C102D00, C101B14. Ah, right, this one here, the tire pressure, we've been getting a tire pressure warning. We haven't looked into that one yet. Um, that, again, that's for another day. This one here, though, is the, the fault relating to that ABS warning light. Um, 
so front right ABS wheel speed sensor um, it's just really again that's a, it's a simulation of what you will see if you get a fault with any one of the ABS sensors so if you've got a fault with a, if you've got an ABS light on your dashboard the chances are it's an ABS sensor and there's three main things you need to do you need to diagnose the fault you need to fix the fault and you need to reset the fault so diagnosing the fault is what we're doing now resetting the uh, sorry fixing the fault is like for say for example putting a new ABS sensor in and then erasing the fault is what I'll do in a second uh, but again this is something that we uh, simulated we just unclipped the connection for the ABS sensor and that's caused the fault we put the f we've put the connection back in so that is essentially fixing the fault and now what we can do is erase the codes keep an eye on the ABS light when I do this the ABS light is gone there and again We'll go into the uh, the airbag system and show you the same again. 15 airbag. And again, this is a simulated fault where we've unclipped the connection, so trouble codes. Uh, forget about the U code, that's the top code we're getting. Same again, erase codes, keep an eye on the airbag light just there when I do this. Any second it'll turn off. There we go, airbag light has gone off. And it's all thanks to this. Honestly, it's a fantastic tool. Um, it does all sorts of adaptions, active tests, like bi-directional testing. Um, it covers all systems. It does a huge range of like service functions as well. Uh, oh, I do want to click yes. I'll just take you back to the home screen for one second. Uh, if we go service functions, these are like service things that it can do. So it's, it's, it does a wide range of service functions and things that ultimately you will need. And that, you know, it just turns off. That can just slot inside your glove box alongside the VCI connector, which I'll just unplug that. That's the VCI connector there. That's because my dog thought it would be a good idea to chew the end of it. It was my fault because I left it in the dog's path but there we go uh, don't leave it where your dog can chew it uh, it's got a little torch on as well I think yeah it's got a torch there um, okay so that's the tool it comes in obviously a box as well but like I say if you are interested in this do use the link in the description below this video because like I say there are fakes there are clones they can damage your vehicle honestly it's just not worth going down that route I've seen it happen it costs so much money to repair um, and you're best off just going with the official tools but use the link in the description to get this thanks for watching and I hope it helps